Hi, my name is Pat McGinnis, and I have uh, the disease of alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, which is a genetic disorder. And there's 2,500 people now that have been told that they have this disease in the, in the United States. There's possibly more. I mean, there's more because it's a rare disorder, but a lot of people don't know about this disease. And uh, people think that it's asthma when they're first diagnosed. And um, I learned to live with the disease when I was diagnosed. I was 38 years old, and I was told I had 36% of my breathing. And I got very upset. I was told I had emphysema and asthma. And uh, I lived from 39 until I was 50, something um, in uh, chaos, uh, because I was so upset I couldn't breathe at all. I had two children I had to raise with my husband, and I thought I was going to leave them because my breathing got progressively worse. And uh, through the years, I had this wonderful opportunity to work for Alphanet, which is right here. <laughs> and um, I worked for John Walsh, uh, Bob Barrett, and Terry Young. And um, nine years ago, I was presented with this job, which has changed my whole life. And it learned me, it taught me how to deal with this uh, with the disease of alpha-1. I have thought I was going to be t uh, taking care of other people and I thought in a negative way. And what these people have given to me has been unbelievable. Um, uh, their strength, their hope, their courage has been to speak, I can't even speak about it. In, in the nine years I've probably lost about 45, 50 people and it, uh, for that that has been a very sad thing on my part, seeing these people, all my friends that I've known for nine years die because of this disease, because they didn't have the opportunity that I had. When I went to Columbia Presbyterian three years ago, and Dr. Arkasoy um, and Dr. Sonnet, I had a double lung transplant January 2nd, 2007, and I have a second hope. I've watched my third grandchild being born um, I was dying Christmas week, and from that time on, it's like unbelievable. My whole life has completely changed. I wear my pajamas in the morning, I get up before my job, and I go out and I walk for about 45 minutes. I swim three days a week. I go to the gym two days a week, and I do weight work and the elliptical machine. But I did want to get back to one thing when you, with emphysema, what you go through, the struggles of not breathing, is so horrific. And at the end, I had no idea what people were going through with their illness until the end of my disease, which was like the last six months, where I actually just to even pick up a piece of paper and move my arm, which would sound so silly to someone, I actually could not even do that anymore. Um, I was trying to do my job, and thank God for my, my bosses and everything, because I did my job, but my people, my people who were as, not as bad as I was at that time, all my patients for, that have Alpha 1, they were so wonderful to me. They would go like this, Pat, go lay down. I mean, it was like wonderful. So, I mean, all their struggles, now they're where I am at, and I am able to help them now, and it's been such a learning process and such a wonderful journey. It's been a wonderful journey and it's renewed my faith in my Lord, who I'm so proud to say, you know, my God is an awesome God because I would not have had this chance. I'm